Yadamendi is suspended due to yellow card accumulation. But Warren, how about Omar Gonzalez? Back-to-back -back starts as the middleman in their back three. Instead of Duncan McGuire up top, those three changes for Oscar Pareja. Yeah, but for me, it's about the fullbacks. How are they going to occupy the two wingbacks of Dallas? This is game number 31 for both teams. FC Dallas and Orlando City. Four games left in the season for both of these two clubs and many around Major League Soccer. The playoff chase is winding down, and we are underway tonight. First touch of the ball. Got the ball at his feet again. Orlando very accomplished moving the ball in tight spaces, and they move it here, and they're threatening. Dangerous oh, ball oh, comes oh. in from Santos, and it is headed home. Well, wow, what a build up, and then what a finish by Ramiro Enrique. And it's Orlando with a chance to clinch a playoff spot tonight. And they possess, and they build, and they score. Tremendous cross. Bullet header of a finish, Orlando City 1, FC Dallas 0. No. Delivery mark, as you rightly said, watch this pass. But watch his run, he gets off the, on the shoulder, and then he cuts across Gonzalez. And Omar's having a look, he's just... Earning corner kicks, and another thing that they do very well is they cross the ball. They go into play tonight with the most crosses of any team in Major League Soccer this year. And a peach of a cross by Rafael Santos. Oh! Over the head of Enrique, and then Martin Paz called into action as Martino Heda. It's good for his head as well. Well, here's Legette. He's going to put this into the area after Ibiaga won a ball on the right-hand side with a header. Orlando will leave the pressure. Here's Paul Ariola steps around. Will there Cartagena? And Paul Ariola. But for me, you could just tell they was a team on a mission who played in a good way offside. But... Oh, they've got a real chance here. Looking for a second. And it's Paz who rises to tip that shot over. The flag has stayed down. And Oscar's change up top certainly was beneficial as Romero Enrique came into the game, and he scored tonight. Those were the team lineups. Oh. Wow! What a delivery on the corner kick and a goal for Orlando. What a delivery and what a finish. Always fizzed in, but just look at his desire and look at the power. It's in the back of the net before he can dive. No, he's diving now, it's already hit the back of the net. On the first goal, and of course, the only assist, as it was his corner kick that was headed home by Rodrigo Schlegel. Doing again. And now it's Facundo Torres. He's had one chance tonight to pass stop, but he doesn't stop this one. Facundo Torres with a clinical finish, and Orlando, this is what they've done for the last 10 games. They've averaged two and a half goals a game. They've got three tonight. Again, pass. Mistakes happen. Do you really want the ball? Do you want to win it as a player? No, you don't. He's made his run. Clearly onside. So composed. That little hesitation just... For Atlanta, Florentina, Seville, just to name a few. So you've got players that have played at a high level. Long-range effort here. Oh, it's stung by Velasco. But Gillespie to his right. Good save. Comfortable save in the end. So it's Muriel going in for Romero Enrique. Enrique's night will end with the first goal scored and an assist on the third goal. Muriel with five goals and five assists. Two of the goals last week against Columbus. Now he plays a ball for Robin Johnson right oh, to Duncan McGuire. Big kick saved by Paz. Follow-up opportunity, Cesar Araujo. That's deflected and out for a corner kick. And I know you want to have good possession. I know you want to pass your way through. It's all lovely and it's so effective when it comes off. And Sabalang carries oh. it into the area, and Sabalang weaving through traffic, dangerous opportunity. It got behind Galese, it was cleared. Not sure if that was angled to go in or not, but... Good ball to Muriel, better ball to Maguire. Now Maguire is behind the two center backs. He's already had one splendid chance tonight, and his second one is saved by Martin Pass. I wish you called some of my games, <laughs> <laughs> but you was only six. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard Camungo. And That's Camungo hits That's the deck penalty. hard. That there is a go. penalty. Yeah, penalty it is. kick. Because it's, it's ricocheting around. You know, Ladero doesn't know where he is. And then he goes to kick it and just kicks through him. He bounces around. He has a touch and then he's not sure. And then he just goes through him. Camungo was fouled, and it's Paul Ariola who will take the PK for FC Dallas. And Ariola rolls it home. Here we go. He had no doubt in his mind. Officially 78th minute. Pedro Galese 
is now one of five trying to stop penalty kicks this year. Paul Ariola with the goal for Ariola. It's his fifth of the season. From 12 yards away, Paul Ariola rolls in the goal to make it 3-1. Now hold on to your hat, you could have a... Going to the Audi MLS Cup playoffs in the Eastern Conference. And then the next piece to the Here puzzle. Oh, here's Galese out. He plays it forward. Farrington, now Ferreira. Galese is desperately trying to get back in goal. He got a hand to it <laughs> on a shot by Kamungo. But the one thing that he, he really is adding, you know, is good in press, good in ball recovery. But, you know, we have technical players. We needed someone in central midfield with some bite. Nice touch, Peter Musa. Oh! Musa, tipped by Galese off the underside of the crossbar. 85th minute of the game, Peter Musa so close to making this a one-goal game. Orlando's top goal scorer, Facundo Torres, added one to his total tonight. He's not in the Golden Boot conversation. He's got 13, but Orlando doesn't need anyone in the Golden Boot conversation. They're doing it with just a lot of talented players scoring goals, Whoa! but now FC Dallas has one. Logan Farrington, side foot finish, top of the six, 90th minute of the game, and now it's a one-goal game. Dallas two. Yeah, it's a wonderful reaction by Farrington. The ball's played in. They're looking at possibly offside. I'm sure that's going to be looked at. But as it bounces along, no hesitation. A lovely little finish. Little punch. Jair Marufo's gone to the monitor. He doesn't look long. He's about to make his announcement. Prior to the goal, number seven for Dallas is offside. Restart and direct free kick offside. Brandy in the hand. It was so comfortable for him. Zeke and Savaleng to Pedro Musa. And go. this is taken down. Barrington stopped by Galese. Just to wash their hands slightly. Right. Other than that, they've been good. Long throw here, rising to meet it. It's Schlegel involved in another play, and that's the end of the game. And it is a playoff clincher for Orlando City SC.